Okay, uh, in this video, what I want to do is just kind of cover continuity of functions as well as discontinuities of functions. So, kind of what I already explained here, you know, a function is continuous um, when you can basically follow that function without having any kind of breaks or jumps or holes. And the easy way to kind of look at that is if you're graphing or just tracing the graph, you don't really need to leave, lift your pencil up uh, to continue graphing it. So, let's just kind of like look at some you know, basic examples here. And that's not what I was trying to do. So let's just look at, here's an XY axis. We do. So you can see as this graph, as I graphed it, it was like perfectly fine, right? Like there was no holes, jumps, or issues there. Um, a discontinuous graph can have any type of discontinuity. So we could have a hole like that, and then we could jump. So you can see here, this graph, you can't just draw this graph, right, without having to lift up your pencil. So as I'm drawing it here, like there's this little hole here, so I have to jump over that. If we go here, then I stop here, and then I have to jump over to here. And then I continue down and I continue down. And you can see like there's this invisible line here. So to continue graphing, I'd have to jump over, start really high, and then kind of continue it. So that's an example of a discontinuous graph. And that's a lovely example of a continuous graph. So let's go and take a look at actually what discontinuities are. I mean, a continuous. So a discontinuous graph is when there's like a break in the graph. And there's kind of three different breaks that we're going to talk about. We're going to look at holes, jumps, and an asymptote. And a lot of times we'll also use the uh, wording, which I didn't add in here, removable and non-removable. And we'll look at that more once we get into the algebraic um, way to understand uh, discontinuities in graph. But for right now, we're just gonna look at just the graphical approach of a hole. So, you know, an example of a hole here is basically a graph that has a hole in it. And basically what that means, it's, you know, it's like a function that's defined for all values except at that one x value, there's like an undefined value. And I think it makes a little bit more sense once we algebraically, you know, kind of look at that as like where holes um, occur. But for right now, we're gonna look, you know, you see a graph and you see a little hole, then you say, oh, it's undefined at that value. Now, just because it's undefined at, you know, that value right there, doesn't mean the graph isn't defined. Like it still could be defined at, you know, whatever that y value, but it could be have a different y value. So it could have like a point up here. Um, now, again, the graph is still discontinuous because as you're traveling, you have to jump to that point and then jump back down to the graph to continue graphing it. So it's still discontinuous. Sometimes you're going to have a value where it's still going to be defined or it could just be undefined completely at that value and just have a hole. So that is a hole. A jump, um, if you listen to what I just did, you can see that uh, we talked about a jump. It's kind of basically as you're graphing something, you go from one function and then you have to jump down to the other function, right? So there's obviously a clear break here. Um, you know, you're going from this top equation, jumping down to this bottom equation, um, and there's no way, you know, that these are connected in any way. So that is what we call a jump discontinuity. Hole removables, hole room, oh, I forgot, hole, are those are gonna be removable, um, which we'll look at algebraically. This would be a non-removable discontinuity. And the last one is just an asymptote or a vertical asymptote. And when we're dealing with asymptotes, uh, basically that is going to be the value that the function is approaching. So you're gonna have like a vertical line because an asymptote isn't really a part of the graph, it's just going to be a you know position that the graph is approaching. So it can approach it from the same direction, from the left and from the right, or it could approach it from different directions. But the important thing is, for a vertical asymptote, the graph is never going to be defined at that value. That's just where the graph is approaching. And again, we'll look at that as far as uh, you know why asymptotes occur, why holes occur, where jumps occur. All algebraically make a little bit more sense. But you know, a lot of times for the graphical approach, we'll show, we'll represent the asymptote so you can kind of like uh, see it in there. Um, but you know, just knowing that the graph is approaching it, it's not going to be defined, and therefore, again, this is a non-removable uh, discontinuity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's kind of like your basics of continuous and non-continuous functions. Thanks.